Which studio position deals primarily with controlling an overhead microphone? Boom operator, gaffer, cable puller, or grip? Answer, next. And we're back with the Pulp Film Lab, taking you on a further detour from the film detour, because now we have in the studio with us, Michael Perez. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I've been making films here in Albuquerque for the last uh, about three years. Um, and I, I, just, I love it. It's mm -hmm. love film noir, love directing, love shooting, love editing. Um, anything I could do to be a part of the community and continue to make films. Cool. And you picked out Detour for your episode. You researched it. It's good. <laughs> I, love, I love film noir, and this one's a great one. It's very it's, simple. It's, yeah, like, it's simple. You know, with a low budget, some, a good story, some good characters, you can do a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some crazy lighting and dissolve shots and, <laughs> I don't know, just, just classic things that I grew up seeing in cartoons as jokes about old movies, but it, they're all in here like, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. <laughs> like this oh, one. yeah, he does say, oh, you're a wise guy, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dialogue. They're yeah. all in yeah. here. Very much. All the classics are in here. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of things that you like to do and make, we have a clip in studio of something that is not film noir. Uh, no, it's a, it's a steampunk short uh, we made about a little, almost two years ago. Um, just a short little short we want to do. One of my friends is a costumer. She makes wonderful costumes. And we had this great idea, and we wanted to run with it and see what we can do for a very low budget, and uh, that's what we got. Yeah, and most of steampunk is like just awesome looking. Yeah, it's very artistic. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. Cool, let's have a look at it. Can yeah. We, can we roll that, roll that? Roll, roll it. it. Give it up. We got you surrounded. That's right, Sterling. You're not going anywhere. Now you just hand over that elixir and I might just let you leave with your hide. You must be a few gears short of a clock, Blackwell, if you think we'll just hand this over. Sterling. You're a gun. You and your pit squeak should just surrender. Oi! It's Pip! We may be outgunned, but you forget. I'm the famous Sky Captain, Jared Reginald Sterling. I never back down from a fight. And more importantly, I never lose. No! Not Leo! Yeah. Run around the right flank and provide us some cover. Let's get these thieving, ditch digging pirates. I you can count on me, Captain. Right. Plus, the girl! Looks like you're the one outgunned now, Blackwell. No better. I will wipe the floor with you. What's this? I shot you. No, you didn't. It was clearly a palpable hit. I don't see anything. Now you're just cheating. I'm not. Mine is. Yeah, nice twist. That one kid got shot like five times in the back, huh? Yeah, she shot him quickly. <laughs> he got shot a lot. He's not very good. It's <laughs> true. It's no fun to play shootout games with other kids when they're liars. Mm -hmm. they're like it's tough stuff. Didn't hit me. Um, <laughs> it is nice because that is a thing that's pissed off a lot of people throughout history, and you made a whole film about like just that idea of when you've been screwed in that kind of battle. That's great. Yep. I've had many of those mm -hmm. gun battles mm -hmm. as a kid. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Absolutely. And now back to Detour. The answer to the question, which studio position deals primarily with controlling an overhead microphone? 
Well, that would be A, the boom operator. Bring on the boom. You made a film noir, a noir style movie, didn't you, Michael? Yeah, well, we filmed it last year. We just finished it and started the film festival circuit. It's uh, called Big Mistake. Uh, it's about a bounty hunter, a, a veteran who comes back to his hometown, becomes a bounty hunter, and within the first few weeks, uh, he's supposed to pick up this beautiful bail skipper. Mm -hmm. And he ends up falling for her, and uh, she's just bad juju. And it was written by who? Uh, Devin O'Leary, oh, a cool. local, local mm -hmm. writer. He, did, he wrote a wonderful script. We had a fantastic cast and crew, shot it in 16 days straight on a very, very shoestring budget, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. Good, 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 good. Nice. Good. We also have a clip of this wonderful project. Wonderful. Roll that beautiful bean footage. People like stories that make them feel good. You know, romance and happy endings. It's not mine. If you want to find my daughter, all you have to do is follow the booze and the party scene. Hey, you're not one of the bouncers. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I don't think this is such a good idea. Don't worry about it. I'm kind of tied up right now. What is it? I'm in trouble. He never cared about me. All he did was give me his dirty money. Well, nice. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully uh, it'll get distribution next year after we're done with our film festival circuit, and or we can screen it here at film festivals here in New Mexico. That's our hope. Cool. So. What was the uh, the toughest part about making it? Doing it in 16 days with a, uh, a low budget. A lot of the crew, uh, there was only eight crew members for the entire feature, mm -hmm. so a lot of us had to wear a lot of hats, um, and it was stressful. But I think we're all proud that we were able to make this happen and that the film came out. Uh, something I think I, I'm proud of. Nice. I'm sure everybody else is. So. Cool. Congrats. Nice. 16 days. That's crazy talk. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, sweet. Uh, we'll be back in a little while with Indie Insight from Dirk Norris and more Detour. Stick around.